Hello and welcome back to Rage Gaming. My name is Hollow, and today I'm talking about Monster Hunter's future. In specific, that is Monster Hunter 6, the next major release for the mainline series to follow on from World's fifth generation of Hunters. A game that will surely be on our next gen of consoles and PCs, and hey, maybe it'll even have crossplay. Maybe. Please. What do we know about Monster Hunter 6 though? When will it release? Is the title, as was rumoured, actually Monster Hunter Paradise? These topics and more I want to have a discussion about today, so let's begin. Starting with the title of Monster Hunter 6, Monster Hunter Paradise. A not so real reveal or title. In fact, it's a made up name by a Discord dev, which in itself should have called into question the legitimacy of the whole thing from the start. If you're unaware though, recently there was a short lived rumor that Monster Hunter 6 had its title leaked. It was claimed that a Discord data mine happened, allowing you to see a Monster Hunter game named Paradise under possible Discord game gifts. That was done through a dev mode version of Discord, which allowed users to see current placeholders for upcoming games on gifts and also codes for them. Most of these are empty placeholders, but the Monster Hunter one had a bit more to it, literally the name Monster Hunter Paradise. You could even go further and try to claim a code for the game, which made it seem more concrete and more progressed than the others. In this case, it was also possible to choose between PlayStation, Xbox or PC codes, which further suggested that this may have been actually, yeah, Monster Hunter 6's title. After that was highlighted on Twitter though, people began speaking about it more and more, and as it became more of a major rumor, Discord addressed it. The devs of Discord changed the Monster Hunter Paradise placeholder to a more generic drops placeholder name, much like the others. And it was said that a Discord employee is simply a fan of Monster Hunter and created a fake name for the placeholder of the next Monster Hunter game that was going to come out. They just happened to name it Paradise. Now that's a bit of a questionable choice and thing to do as the employee, and I'm sure they never really expected anyone to see it. As said by Kogath on Twitter though, it is surprising that so many people thought that this was possible or real, considering it was Discord. Why would that be the place for such advanced information? Beyond a proper media outlet, beyond any actual official announcements, they would just give that information to Discord specifically? After all, people would easily find out, as this situation clearly displayed. Monster Hunter Paradise is a fun name, I think, but sadly, Sadly, it is not real in any shape or form, and we're still waiting for any actual information about Monster Hunter 6 and whatever title it might have. So the big question I think then is when? When will Monster Hunter 6 happen? Now as is common knowledge, two teams work on the Monster Hunter series. We have the mainline team, whose last release was Monster Hunter World, and as they are often referred to, the portable team, who of course made Rise. These teams work separately on different Monster Hunter games. Our last mainline game was obviously World, like I said, which since Iceborne and its last update back in early 2020, means the team have had roughly two years of possible development time on the next game. So yes, when will Monster Hunter 6 arrive? What is a reasonable timeline? To work that out, we can look back at past releases and the trends of the mainline series themselves. What length of time did we previously need to wait between games? When we look at the mainline series and its releases, the timeline steadily gets longer and longer between them. In 2004, we had the original Monster Hunter release, followed two years later in 2006 with Monster Hunter 2. Then not two, but three years later in 2000. 2009, we had Monster Hunter Try, and then another extra year between, with four years between Try and Monster Hunter 4 in 2013. Finally, yet another extra year occurred, now a five year gap between mainline games, we had Monster Hunter World in 2018. When you look at it like that, a six year gap this time wouldn't be that unreasonable, which would mean the game would release in 2024. Further, 2024 is a significant year for Monster Hunter. That would be 20 years since the original game's release and make for an awesome anniversary release. Though that would mean we have a potentially dry year for Monster Hunter in 2023, wouldn't it? With Sunbreak's three major updates ending late 2022, with possible other minor updates in 2023, maybe we'll see something else in 2023. Something like Stories 3 or an expansion to Stories 2. Sunbreak getting more major updates, that would be really cool and unexpected, or maybe something totally new like a new spin-off for the series. Of course, it's still possible that Monster Hunter 6 would release in 2023. Five years is still a big gap and as nice as it would be for an anniversary release, it's not required. But it still could be 2024 and there could be a full year with no like major Monster Hunter update or release. 
As we all know, these games see serious updates and expansions, usually a year after release. And then with other releases like spin-off series, we've had something Monster Hunter every year most of the time. At very least though, I would speculate that 2024 is the latest year that Monster Hunter 6 would release. And obviously, I hope for sooner than that. An announcement of some kind in 2023, that's something we can probably bet on, even if the game did go on to release in 2024. As another topic, what would Monster Hunter 6 actually be? And what would I like to see? I still remember that incredible feeling World provided right from the beginning. The way the monsters were presented, the maps themselves and the detail and the ambience of it all. I felt like I'd stepped right into some sort of like Jurassic Park situation and it was genuinely wonderful. With next gen hardware and the potential to create that sort of feeling again, certainly there, so I'm very excited to see what they can do with that. As the game has likely been in development for at least two years and will be in dev for at least one or two more, it's going to provide ample time for more people to acquire next generation gaming, be that on PC or console, which has been notoriously hard to get a hold of in the case of PlayStation 5s. A Monster Hunter game with these much less limited resources is going to be something incredible visually at very least. Even though I think Rise did a really good job of pushing the Switch to its limits, especially in Sunbreak. Like the jungle, that's a great example of doing a good job with the visuals. However, it still can't remotely compare to even last generation gaming like consoles and PC due to the limits of Switch itself. So by comparison, next gen is going to feel incredible. But what would be much more special, I think, would be if they finally did crossplay. My number one desire for the Monster Hunter series is crossplay. It deserves it. The ability for a PC player to play with a console player seamlessly. Exclusives, after all, are just a way to try to drive consumers to buy that platform, to buy that console, to play the exclusive. It doesn't serve us anything to be like anti-PlayStation or anti-Xbox or anti-PC because you happen to have one of the others. And it's clearly possible. Look at Dauntless. That game has crossplay on every damn platform under the sun, so it's possible for Monster Hunter 2. I'm not saying it's easy. I don't personally understand, say, the red tape or the process of making that happen, but it has been done and it can be done. It was even addressed and acknowledged by the devs for Sunbreak, in fact, when they acknowledged it and apologized that it's just not going to happen this time. There was a clear push for it, but it just didn't happen. Monster Hunter 6, on the other hand, though, has much more time to consider that. They're aware of the huge desire for it, so I think it's our best shot. But outside of all that conceptual stuff, what about actual gameplay? The actual mechanics that we'll see in-game? I think an obvious request and hope would be a new weapon type entirely. A 15th weapon to play with and a proper one at that, not like a silly or small gimmick that we've seen in the past. A genuine new weapon type for players to dig into, featuring a new playstyle to the series. That would be cool. We could even see multiple new weapons, like one new melee and one new ranged one. I think a valid question is, what about the things Rise has introduced, like wire bugs? Josh has explained to me that each Monster Hunter game likes to introduce a new gimmick or concept that's core to the game, and then they end up moving on to something new in the next release. Examples of this would be, say, the Slinger in World, uh, underwater combat in Try, uh, wire bugs, of course, in Rise. I feel that I'm going to really miss the incredible movement of Rise, though. And obviously, it let them create totally new map layouts, which have never been seen in the series before, and I think they're fantastic. And imagine losing palamutes as well. I reckon there's a good chance we'll see some basic versions of these things brought forward at least, if not the the one for one full system of say wire bugs. Maybe they'll be able to keep the same map design style by having us still be able to climb any surface or simply just bringing palamutes forward. We saw a version of that subtly in Rise where the slinger didn't come forward but the way we use the flash bombs and stuff now you just aim and throw. Obviously a lot of people would love to see water combat again in an up-to-date version and another thing to consider is say the hunter arts which we know as the silkbind attacks and rise how they've been brought forward in that new clever way it is clearly possible to rework these mechanics and bring even a simplified version forward either way in conclusion i believe monster Hunter 6 is going to be announced at very least in 2023 and then i think it'll be released in 2024 in the meantime something unexpected could happen in 2023 be that say an expansion to stories 2 be that more major updates than expected for sunbreak or maybe something totally unpredicted as we talked about we do know the name of six is not paradise that was just a silly situation now resolved and most of all i want to see palamutes terrain climbing and that new map design remain as well as please 
crossplay. The Monster Hunter series deserves it. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about all of this. What would you like to see in 6? I am really looking forward to seeing what people think and maybe some interesting ideas that might pop up. But please, as always, remember to keep it civil. We're talking fun speculation. None of this is that serious. Until next time, though, I've been Hollow, you've been you. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye